This video looks at how we can use tree diagrams to solve potentially quite complex problems in probability. Now suppose Sam's got a bias coin such that the chance of getting ahead is 3 out of 10. And he tosses this coin twice. So when he first tosses the coin he could get either a head or a tail. And the chance of a head is 3 tenths so therefore the chance of a tail will be seven tenths. That's the first option, having tossed the coin once. He then tosses the coin for a second time. So it could be head then head, or head then tail, tail then head, or tail then tail. It's the same coin, so therefore the individual fractions stay the same. Now then, we want to find the chance of getting a head and a tail, in any order. So what we do is we look for the journeys through the tree diagram which satisfy the condition a head and a tail. Or this head then tail, or this tail then head. And to find the chance of that occurring, we times together the fractions along the way. So this 3 tenths times 7 tenths, which is 21 out of 100. Or this 7 tenths times 3 tenths, which is also 21 out of 100. Because there were two different ways to get a head and a tail, we then add together those fractions to get the overall answer, which is 42 over 100, or 21 over 50. So the chance of getting a head and a tail is 21 out of 50.